Hello and welcome to the Capital Wasteland, more specifically to Vault 101. Inside this snake-filled hole are a number of small details that we can discover, and now that I have, I present to you 5 things you may have missed in Fallout 3's Vault 101, Part 2. It's quite likely that the majority of players will kill the hostile security guards on their way out of the vault, myself included. But if you can avoid the guards and leave the vault without killing anyone, you will be able to see them later on when you return for the quest, Trouble on the Homefront. Steve Mack. I sure didn't expect you to show your face here again. John Kendall. You've got a lot to answer for, kid. And Paul Hannon Sr. Oh, look. The bad seed is back. After what happened to Vicky and my boy that night, your corpse should be strung up as a warning to anyone else who thinks about heading outside. Are just a few of the officers that can be found and interacted with. Both Officer Wolf and Park, the final two guards of the vault, will not be present, even if you did leave them alive. When returning to Vault 101, we can find the corpse of Steve Armstrong. The boy was caught sneaking around the vault's entrance and ultimately paid the price. The weird thing isn't that though. It's unknown what happened to the boy's original parents, but what we do know is that his adoptive parents are father and daughter. There isn't anything funny going on between the two adoptive parents, but for some reason Beatrice, the woman who gave us a poem for our 10th birthday, and her father Stanley decided to raise a child together. A nice thing in theory, but also very strange at the same time. After talking to Amata and looting our room for weapons, the first guard we come across is Officer Kendall. As of right now, he is occupied with rad roaches, but once those are taken care of, he'll come for us. If we avoid killing him for the time being and turn left, we can encounter our childhood bully Butch. He needs help rescuing his mother from the rad roaches, and most of us will agree to help. But on the off chance you don't, and Officer Kendall is still alive, Butch will actually tell the guard where you went. There's roaches in there, Officer Kendall. They're attacking my mom. You've got to help. I've got bigger problems right now than dealing with your lush of a mother again. No, wait. You're looking for the docks kid, right? He was just here. I saw where he went. You saw her? Where'd she go? Uh-uh. You go in there and help my mom. Then I'll tell you. Listen, you little punk. We just beat a man to death. You want to be next? No, sir. Uh, she went that way. I saw her. I did. That's better. Now get in your goddamn room! No, please! Uh, don't leave! Involved. You gotta help my mom! Find their Damn that troublemaking doctor. If you did rescue Butch's mother, then he will have this to say instead. Hey, you haven't seen the docs, kid, have you? We're still looking for her. No, sir. Good luck with your search, though. Whatever. Get back in your room. You're the best, man. The best. Everything's gonna be okay now, thanks to you. Out of all of the guards, even those avoided at the beginning will not attack the player upon returning. All except for one. Officer Wilkins. Throughout the vault, we can find several dwellers' bodies, with two of them sharing the same surname as the officer. Janice and Jim Wilkins. These two look quite young, so I'm going to guess they were his children. After we escaped, I bet he thought he would never get the chance to see us again, and took the opportunity for revenge while he still had it. You never should have left, kid. Now we'll make sure nobody ever leaves again. I got a lot! We'll get him. On the Overseer's Terminal, we can see that there is one additional note compared to the first time we looked. It is a message from the Enclave. This is because Amata changed the vault's password to her name so we could regain entry. This has alerted the Enclave who contacted the vault and luckily the Overseer was smart enough to decline their request.
Funnily enough, I did encounter a vertebrate dropping two Enclave soldiers not far from the vault's entrance, so perhaps they came to investigate, or maybe it was just a random encounter that coincidentally made sense. And there we have it, five things you may have missed in Fallout 3's Vault 101. Before you go, I would like to remind you of five things that you could do to support the channel. Comment, like, share, subscribe, and enable notifications. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next adventure.